Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, this is David Benjamin from HealthyWildandFree.com. Today I'm going to share with you 10 different ways that you can detoxify and cleanse your lymphatic system and drain uh, lymphatic fluids that are built up uh, that cause stagna stagnation, tension, uh, aches and pains, uh, they can affect your sleep cycles, your, the quality of your sleep, uh, and your overall energy levels because if your lymphatic system is backed up and toxic, your body will not be able to move and flow properly and that will begin to affect circulation and hormones and uh, the detoxification of other organs in the body as well. So. Uh, the lymphatic system is really important, and uh, I, in the last video I talked about uh, the main, most important ways that you can use to detoxify and drain uh, the lymphatic system, but in this video I want to cover uh, a few more ways that you can utilize to kind of take that to the next level. So, uh, as I talked about in the last video, the main few ways that you can use to detoxify and drain lymphatic fluids and toxins are uh, drinking more water. The word lymphatic comes from the Latin word lymphatica, which uh, means connected to water. So uh, if you're not drinking enough water, your body is going to be dehydrated and your lymphatic tissue is not going to be hydrated enough to expel fluids and detoxify and drain itself. So uh, hydration and fluids, uh, which basically just comes down to water, is the most important aspect for keeping your lymphatic system healthy because if your lymphatic system has that hydration and that fluid, it can properly expel uh, the waste and toxicity and things that build up and accumulate over time. So first things first, drink more water. The second re recommendation I would make is to exercise more. Uh, move your body, go for walks. If you live in Michigan, like I do, or anywhere in the north that's cold, uh, just go for walks, quick wa walks around the block, or go to the gym, or just walk around your house. Walk up and down the flights of stairs, walk around your condo, home, apartment, whatever it may be, uh, just to move your body, because walking is gonna regulate and move your lymphatic system. Uh, and remember that your lymphatic system, unlike your circulatory system, doesn't have a pump. Your heart is the pump, uh, the, the organ that creates movement for your circulation and your circulatory system. So your lymphatic system needs your actual movement in order to move the lymphatic fluid, which you know runs throughout your entire body. So first things first, drink more water. Second things, uh, you, second really most important thing you can do is exercise. Uh, Next, focus on breath work. Uh, the body needs more oxygen. Typically, we have bad posture, so we're sloshed over, or uh, we even sleep in a bad postural state, or we work at a desk and we're crunched over, or even if you work you know, on an assembly line, you're, you're bent over moving something or pushing buttons or whatever. So uh, our posture has really declined over time. And because of that and other factors, um, toxicity, chemicals, the, the environment, the air, the oxygen, the chemicals in our home from paints, sofas, and the list goes on and on and on, uh, there's more chemicals and pollutants more than ever before, so we're not breathing as, in as much fresh, pure oxygen uh, that nature gives us if we're in nature. So uh, going on a hike in nature is great because you're going to be moving your body and getting the exercise, but you're also going to be breathing in more uh, fresh oxygen from nature, from the plants, uh, you know. The, our relationship with plants, so that's important as well. Uh, one, another beneficial way to detoxify your lymphatic system is to simply laugh more. Uh, laughter is kind of a way to hack your uh, your uh, detoxification of your lymphatic system because when you laugh, a negative pressure is applied to the thoracic duct, which is your largest lymphatic vessel in your body. Uh, 10 to 15 times more lymphatic fluid can flow out of your thoracic duct, which once again is your largest lymphatic vessel when you laugh. So laughter uh, induces deep breathing, but then uh, that actual uh, stimulation causes that response in the body, which causes, uh, or, or, which rather allows you to re expel and remove uh, lymphatic fluids and lymphatic toxins quicker. So uh, another thing that you can do that's beneficial is getting a massage. Massages are extremely ben beneficial because they move the muscle tissue, the lymphatic tissue. Uh, deep tissue massages are great. Uh, there's also different mach machines and technology out there too that I could go into, but I'll save that for another video that kind of stimulate lymphatic drainage and movement as well. But massage is a great first step because it's going to move that lymphatic tissue and it's a, you know, like a, for example, a full body massage uh, is going to move lymphatic tissue throughout your entire body. So it's kind of a light form of exercise for your entire body, it's stimulating and moving the muscles, the lymphatic tissue, and detoxifying and draining. Uh, you can also, uh, beyond exercising, a really beneficial exercise specifically for lymphatic drainage is rebounding. Uh, it's those little trampolines that you see that a lot of people think are just for kids. Uh, they're actually great for adults. You just simply 
get one of those little trampolines, they're like 150, 200 bucks, and I'll link one up on Amazon below this video. But basically you just jump up and down on that trampoline, and by doing that, you're not only exercising and breathing, which is beneficial, but the actual act of kind of, you're using gravity to your advantage. So you're using gravity because you're jumping up, and you're coming down on that little bounce, picture your cells in your body kind of like bouncing along with that and it helps to detoxify your cells and, and detoxify and drain your lymphatic system as well. So rebounding is extremely uh, beneficial uh, for detoxifying and draining the lymphatic system. Uh, another beneficial thing you can do to drain your lymphatic fluids and lymphatic toxins is to eat more organic raw fruits. Uh, fruits typically are better detoxifying and draining foods uh, as far as health is concerned uh, and vegetables are more building foods. So uh, fruits with like different acids and enzymes and compounds in them uh, help to break down excess waste and toxicity within the body and help uh, also hydrate the body as well really, really well. Like a lot of the fruits like watermelons and different fruits are really rich in water content and vegetables too. Like cucumbers and, and things and tomato, which is actually a fruit, are great for detoxifying and draining the lymphatic system because the rich water content and the different enzymes and acids and things that stimulate lymphatic drainage and movement. So eat more organic raw fruits if you want to detoxify and drain toxicity and toxins out of your body. Uh, and like I said, vegetables are great for building the body up. So kind of like rebuilding tissue, rebuilding skin, hair, uh, organs, ligaments, whatever it may be. Vegetables are great for that, but fruit's great for kind of like removing impurities and toxicity and things like that. So that's another beneficial thing you can do. Uh, another thing you can do, what I'm holding in my hand, is called simply skin brushing. You take a skin brush, uh, these are like 15 bucks on, at a health food store or on Amazon, and you just simply brush your skin like this, and you just brush your entire body. Um, it stimulates lymphatic movement uh, on the surface. Uh, in wherever you're brushing, so if you're brushing your arm, for example, you're stimulating the skin and you're moving circulation and lymphatic movement within that area. So uh, just brush your entire body and that's beneficial. And I highly recommend, it's called dry skin brushing because it's dry skin brushing. So what you want to do is brush before you get in the shower because when you actually brush with this, you have a lot of dead skin cells and you can actually see them on your skin, like flaky dead skin cells once you brush. And you brush, you want to actually brush pretty hard. So you get in the shower and you obviously wash all those off. You don't want to like brush yourself before you go into work and then you're like hanging out next to your coworker, and you're like hey check out my dead crusty dry skin cells it'd be kind of weird so don't do that it's not advised unless you want to I mean it's up to you but anyway so dry skin brushing is great highly recommended it's cheap you get this once you can use it forever uh, so it's really beneficial to add on to that, uh, after you dry skin brush, a great way to detoxify and drain lymphatic fluids and toxins in the shower uh, after you dry skin brush is simply take a hot cold shower. So a hot cold shower entails uh, turning the water to hot, rinsing your whole body in hot water, then turning the water to cold, and then rinsing your whole body, and then doing that back and forth, back and forth a bunch of times. So hot cold, hot cold uh, basically enlarges and shrinks your blood vessels. So it's stimulating circulation by um, increasing and stimulating blood flow uh, and blood vessels uh, to uh, uh, enlarge and, and then shrink basically. So uh, that's beneficial because you're stimulating circulation that's going to stimulate uh, lymphatic detoxification as well. Uh, another thing you can do is actually uh, use essential oils. So right here I have lemon essential oil, it's certified pure therape therapeutic grade, meaning uh, with this essential oil at least, you can apply topically or with this is lemon, you can adjust it as well. And certain oils, I wouldn't recommend adjusting for certain reasons, but food-based oils like lemon, for example, you can apply topically and adjust as long as it's pure enough to do so, and this brand is. So uh, basically what you do is you just take the uh, lemon essential oil, which is great for detoxifying and draining, and you just apply it to different lymph nodes. So you can look up a chart of lymph nodes online, uh, and applying it to those lymph nodes will stimulate those areas to drain uh, and detoxify the lymphatic system in those specific areas in the body. So if you have tension in one area of your body, it could be your lymphatic system, you could apply the essential oil to that area specifically, or you can just apply it to the different lymph nodes throughout your entire body to drain and detoxify your lymphatic system effectively. So uh, there's a lot of ideas right there, so let me just recap real quick. Drink more water, exercise, laugh more, uh, do deep breathing exercises to get more oxygen, uh, rebound, jumping on the mini trampoline, uh, use the skin brush, take hot cold showers, eat organic raw fruits, and use essential oils 
uh, topically to stimulate the lymphatic system uh, detoxification process as well. Also, uh, the sauna, uh, any type of heating ac activity is great because it stimulates circulation and blood flow, which is going to stimulate lymphatic detoxification and drainage as well. So, uh, there's 10 plus ideas. Uh, if you want resources to each of these things, like the essential oils or the skin brush or the rebounder or anything I talked about, uh, check out the article below, that'll give you links and resources to everything, and just check out the whole description below, that'll give you information uh, regarding everything in this video. So, thanks a lot for your time. Once again, my name is David Benjamin from HealthyWellAndFree.com. Please like, favorite, comment, and share this video below if you enjoyed it. Uh, leave your comments, share how you detoxify and drain your lymphatic system, and subscribe for future videos. Make sure to live healthy, wild, and free. Bye.